Live. The news on NBC6 starts now. A loving father to two beautiful girls. A sister remembering her brother two years after he was senselessly killed. He was killed in the parking lot outside of his apartment complex back in 2022. And now his family is sending a message hoping for better safety measures at apartment complexes. NBC6's Ari Odzer is live in Lauderhill with that family's emotional message. Ari. Well, Jackie, in the two years since Dimitri Ramirez was gunned down in this parking lot here behind me, Lauderhill police arrested the three men they say committed that murder and carjacking that day. And his family filed a lawsuit against the management company alleging lack security and won a huge multi-million dollar settlement. Now they're speaking out again with help from their lawyer trying to make a bigger impact in this fight against gun violence. He adored his little girls. Dimitri Ramirez was a doting father. Yay. His murder hit his family like a sledgehammer. Dimitri Ramirez was a caring son, a protective brother. A loving father to two beautiful girls. A comedic uh, uncle and a loyal friend. It was a random carjacking. They shot Dimitri to death in the parking lot of his home. The family won a huge judgment against the apartment complex. Time does not heal. But faced the news media today with another calling. You know, when the family discussed about doing a press conference, they said if we can just reach one property manager, if we could it's just one apartment owner sees this news coverage and adds security and learns a lesson from it, it's all worth it. So we're hoping that with our case and with, um, you know, and also the public, the publicity of our brother's case, that it will somewhat push the owners to, you know, rethink and revamp what they consider in terms of security because you're putting people's lives at stake. Attorney Mike Haggard pointed out the state legislature is spending a billion dollars to build low income housing without requiring the builders to provide strong security, a recipe, he says, for more crime. The number one site of violent crime in the state of Florida is apartment complexes. It's overtaken banks, it's overtaken convenience stores, it's number one. So we need to be looking at that. In criminology, look at where is the crime occurring and how do we stop it. And that's the message the family is trying to send to lawmakers at every level. Mandate apartment complex security and make sure it happens to fight crime better. On the day that Dimitri was murdered, they say there was virtually no security here, making him an easy target for the thugs who took his life. And on that day, he mailed his daughters who live in Virginia some stuffed animals. They received them after he died. We're live in Lauder Hill, Ari Odzer, NBC6 News.